In this video, I'm gonna show you how to highlight an item in a chart with a parameter action. First thing I've done is I've built a chart of subcategory sales. I'm gonna create a parameter. I'll call it my subcategory parameter. I'm gonna change the data type to a string. And for now, I'm gonna set the value to chairs and click on OK. I'm gonna show that parameter so that you can see what happens. First thing I wanna be able to do is to click on a subcategory and have it populate that subcategory. So I'm gonna go up to Worksheet, Actions. I'm gonna click on Add Action and then Change Parameter. I'm gonna call this Update Subcategory Parameter. Instead of the source sheets being Sheet 1, I'm gonna pick the data source and then I'm only gonna check sheet one. That way, no matter where I use this sheet, this parameter action will work. My target parameter is my subcategory parameter, and my source field is my subcategory. And I click on OK, and I click on OK again. So now when I click on a bar, you can see my subcategory parameter on the right updating. But what I wanna get rid of is this highlighting that happens and all of the other bars get grayed out. I want tables to color, but everything else to turn gray. To do that, we need to create a couple of calculations. First, let's create a calculated field called parameter match. And this is simply going to be my subcategory parameter is equal to my subcategory. Click on OK, and let's drag that to the color shelf. And you can see now we have two colors. When I click on a different subcategory, that color changes. I'm gonna go ahead and edit my colors. Let's make the true blue and the false gray. There we go. But now, again, I still need to fix the issue of the bars being highlighted and everything else being grayed out. To do that, let's create two calculated fields. The first one we'll call true. And all that's gonna be in there is the function true. Click on okay. Create another calculation called false. And all that's gonna be in this one is the function false. Drag both of those to the detail shelf. Now create a worksheet action. Create a new action that's a filter action. I'll call it remove highlight. I'm gonna make it a select, single sheet only. Leave my target sheet at sheet one. I want to show all values when we clear it. In the selected fields, choose true. And is that equal to false? Now again, that's never going to be the case. Click on okay, click on okay again. And now when I click on the bar, you can see the highlighting move. One last trick, maybe we wanna only show the sales for that particular bar. Let's create one more calculated field and I'll call it sales for selected. I'm gonna say if my parameter match, then I wanna return sales, otherwise nothing, so end. Drag that onto the label shelf and now we're only gonna see a mark for the bar that we click on. And there you go. That's how you add highlighting with a parameter action and then remove the highlighting so that you can see all of the bars.